Secretary of State Jay Ashcroft today quashed two petitions that would have seen this year's most controversial bill put to a statewide vote. HB 126 was signed into law with an emergency clause attached to the section dealing with parental consent, meaning that section takes immediate effect, while the rest will kick in on August 28th. The petitions were filed on time and were worded correctly, but it's because part of the law is already active that Ashcroft said, These referendums are not rejected due to form. These are rejected because they fail to meet the constitutional requirements. Requirements that say referendums can be ordered unless the law is, quote, necessary for the immediate preservation of the public peace, health, or safety. We needed to make sure that since it was our responsibility, we could truthfully say that it was not done due to political input. It was due to what the law the Constitution of laws pursuant to a requirement. Pro-choice advocates say they're not buying it. For us, this is an obvious attempt to silence the will of Missourians. This is just another way for them to short-circuit people's voices simply because they know that they're, they're going to lose. House Minority Leader Crystal Quaid also calling out the secretary's move, citing a 99-year-old case in which the Missouri Supreme Court ruled that the legislature cannot block a referendum. Ashcroft said that case actually supports his rejection. Because in those same cases, it makes it clear that the Secretary of State's office does not have the ability to decide whether or not an emergency clause is truly an emergency.